So let's go ahead and create an ARP table. And let's go ahead and log into our switch. And we're going to go from the user exec mode to our privilege exec mode. And inside of here, let's go ahead and what we'll do, since we're in the client switch right here, we will ping each one of these IP addresses. So it's going to be 10.0.5.0. This one's 5.1.1. This one's 5.1.1. This one's 10.0.5.2. So we're going to do the first client up here. And of course it's going to fail one of them because it's creating an ARP table out of that first failure. It's going to be the same thing for each one. If we do show ARP, it'll show each one of those now. So now there's a, a direct route. So if any of these, anybody from the outside pings to this computer, or tries to connect to it, and now it has an ARP table to it. And we'll go ahead and we'll do it on this one too. So we'll go from our user exec mode and enter into our privilege exec mode. And inside of here, we will go ahead and we will ping our computers here. So host one. It's going to be 10.0.3.0. This will be 10.0.3.1. This will be 10.0.3.2. And we'll have the same issue where one of them will drop, and that will be the one that basically uh, the ARP table creates makes a route for it. Now if we do show ARP on this one, it'll show each and every one of them right there. And that's how you create an ARP table.